manifestations of the sons of God part 3 Romans chapter 8 the verse 19 the anchor scripture for this teaching it said for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestations of the sons of God waited for the manifestation of the sons of God and we explore some serious spiritual things the last two weeks. We explore some serious spiritual things last two weeks. And we say, the world or the creatures are not waiting for just anybody to manifest. For the source of God. They have seen it all. Like in the days of Genesis chapter 11. When those people... Nimrod and his family. They have explored the whole earth and they have realized that there is nothing more for them to see on the earth. So they began to explore the heaven. They wanted to build a tower which top will reach to the sky so they can go and ask God, God, are you still what are you doing there? The earth is for let's come to heaven and see what you are doing there. They imagine going to the heaven so they can go and see what God is doing there. What are you doing there? What's your job in heaven? So they've seen it all. The world has seen it all. And if the creature is still waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God, it means that there is something extra they are yet to see. They've seen every, they've seen many, many things. They've explored the moon. They've explored man of places. They are not looking for how to put life on Mars. They've explored many, many things. Different galaxies. They've done the thing. And they are still waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Get a lot of this. They are waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Telling us that there is a dimension that God has locked up inside us. That until we reveal it, until we demonstrate it, the world will still be lacking. You know, it's not just enough to be eating. You must eat food that is balanced with nutrients. Look at every day. Raw rice, 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 angamu, 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 without any. If you eat that thing for one year, oh boy, you will see. <laughs> rice with oil, rice with oil, without anything else, you will be sick. Is it food? Yes. But there are certain nutrients that are lacking. That is not part of that diet. So the world has seen many, many things. But there is that yearning, that void inside them that they are trying to see how it can be filled. The political world is still yearning for something. They have seen it, but they are still yearning for something. The technological world is also waiting for something. The football world, entertainment world, media world is waiting for, medical world is waiting for something. Something that we can't put, we know there is something more, but we don't, we cannot just put our finger on it. What is it? That thing is locked up in the source of God. It's locked up in the source of God. It's there for the whole creature. Is groaning for adoption, crying, crying. So in their big, big state, they are still crying for something. There is something more they have not seen yet that they are believing God to see. That thing is locked up in the sons of God. The Pharisees were there. They knew the law. They knew everything about the law. I mean, they were running their affairs between Malachi and Matthew when Jesus, when John the Baptist came on the scene, was four hundred years. They were running the affairs with no prophets. They were sitting in charge. But inside them, there is something more. They were waiting for something. That thing is locked up in the Son of God. The same way. The same way. Even in a greater manner. There are dimensions I've taught here before on this teaching. I love that teaching myself. What is man? Human being is, is not just flesh and bone and blood. No. Human being is not just spirit, soul and body. No. A human being is 
a dimension is the host of a dimension of God. So there is a there are possibilities in God that are locked up inside you. Until you demonstrate it, the world will be lacking it. I thought sometime ago that when God wanted to God has never come and create people, send babies to the earth. No. He looks on the earth and look at the way the thing is going. In the next, you'll be lacking something. There's an answer this world needs and it's not there yet. Or somebody can the person die without manifesting it. So that problem is repetitive. If I don't solve this thing, humanity will crash. So what do I do? So God goes to his father to create a baby and then put it into Joshua and Alberta, they give it to that child, and that boy, that boy comes. So you, we are celebrating God for a child, but God in heaven is thanking God for a solution released to the problem of life. That boy can come and live his life all through be two hundred years and die without manifesting it. Then God goes back to his factory again. That problem, I thought I solved it all, but it's still there. Okay, oh. Okay, this person can't person that without manifesting it. He goes back to the factory again. Somebody else to the earth, go and do it. He keeps doing that until one person in that lineage awakes to that responsibility. So we will be thanking God, oh Father, thank you for a brand new baby. God is saying, thank God for the solution. Praise God. It is that dimension that is in the sons of God. There are certain things that can never be learned in school. Never. Never. They are the deposit of God in his children to mess up the wisdom of men. They are there. They are there. And we said, those possibilities are what is called the kingdom of God. Amen. Luke 17, 21. He said the kingdom of God is within you. So the kingdom of God is the answer to the problems of the kingdom of men. Jesus began to them say, you are from below, I am from above. That is why I came to solve your problem. So there is the kingdom of God locked up in the sons and daughters of God. That until we demonstrate that kingdom, until we bring it to bear, the world will never know that God still cares for this world. Many people are thinking God doesn't care for humanity, doesn't care for the world. It is the fault of the sons of God. It's our fault. When we begin to bear and to demonstrate those possibilities that is embedded in us by God, then we will begin to show the world the love of the Father. To the sick, the love of the Father is that healing power is ministered. To the poor, the love of the Father is that prosperity is administered. Praise God. So there are certain possibilities locked up inside your DNA. By God. By God, not by men. That until you wake up responsibly to attend to those things, you'll be living a void in the sands of time. Then you are giving God another job again. He has to go back to his factory, then create another human being to put that thing back into the person and send the person to the earth again. I've said that the world is in problem because the sons and daughters of God are not accepting responsibility. Manifestation of something. It's not a thing you quote and jump around. It's responsibility. It's responsibility. You must tell yourself that I carry it. I carry it. It's inside me. Then you discover what it is. They begin to walk your life at it. Walk your life at it. Maybe somebody was sent to this mandate before. He didn't fulfill it. Maybe. So God went back to the factory. Then create me. Put that thing back inside me. Go. Bring them to that place in destiny. If I, God forbid, I fail. God, because the purpose of God cannot go unfulfilled. He can, God cannot fail. So he will still go back to his factory. Create another body. 
this mandate into the person's life. Release him to the earth. He will keep repeating the process until somebody wakes up to responsibility. Then begin to demonstrate. That is how it is. So, what is the manifestation of sons of God? It's not a song we sing. It's a responsibility we accept. And we said that there are five dimensions or pillars of the kingdom or possible. Or, or five articles of the kingdom of God that must be demonstrated in the life of the believer to prove that this person who is carrying the kingdom life. Those things are there. It's carrying the kingdom life. Number one, we talk about kingdom lifestyle. Primarily purity. Purity. He said, call me out of among them and be separate. And I will receive you. You shall be my people. I shall be your God. First Corinthians chapter 6. Chapter 6. You shall be my people. I shall be your God. So purity is the life of the kingdom. You cannot be in the kingdom and not live a life of purity. You are fooling. It is, you are not in the kingdom in the first place. Because God is pure. He said, be ye holy. Even as your heavenly father is holy. So a pursuit of a lifestyle of purity, yearning day and day out to please God, must be the hallmark of the believer. You fall, you rise. Father, no! I can't afford to be here. A pursuit of the heartbeat of God. No one is perfect yet. I am not. Some people are there, yes. Some people are in the, in the realm that you don't talk about this thing we're talking about again. No, 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 no. God cannot be waiting for Archbishop Ag- Camilla to commit fornication for him to judge him. Or to go and steal money for him to judge him. No, 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 no. He is out of that realm. He is, he is, he is out, of, out of he is out of that realm. It's not something you think. No, no, no. The only thing that I think God can count for him as a sin is when God tell him do this, he doesn't do it. <laughs> no, that I guess. Petty, petty thing. Not that this God, that's why it is easy for great men to miss it. Because the things that God will, that will God will count for them will be very slippery. Small things. My son, don't eat today. Maybe he didn't pick the signal early. His food is in the way. Ah, God said, I shouldn't eat. And God said, because of this, I will deal with you. <laughs> that can take like six months of dealings with the person. I, those are things that God counts for great people. But at our level, there's a lot of fight to fight. You strive to live a pure life. It's a striving. You walk. You walk at it. I must get it right with God. You know, okay, this is how I am. This is my nature. Who give me the nature? Oh, me, that's how I am. Oh, you know, who told you? Who told you? Inside your heart, your spirit man is God. God cannot live there and you have a wrong nature. No! No! So we must be striving to please God as a last time. It's a pursuit. The day I stop pursuing it, you will see that I will start touching small, small girls. Yes! You keep pursuing it day and day out because I have not arrived. I was about to say, I can't know myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, I press towards the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. You press. You press. No, come on, grace is covering us. Is this grace? It's not grace. It's this grace. Kingdom lifestyle, especially purity. Purity. We'll get there. In the name of Jesus Christ. The second kingdom article that must find, especially in our life, for us to demonstrate and manifest the kingdom life is kingdom principle. Kingdom principle. Every kingdom is built on laws. Every kingdom is built on laws. And then the possibilities in that kingdom can only be assessed by abiding with those laws. Every kingdom 
is built on principles, is built on love. I've said somewhere before that anything that is lasting is standing on principles. If you disregard the principles, you cannot assess it. For instance, the principle of entering this destiny act is to pass through that gate. If you say you don't like that door, you will stay outside. It's only one. It's only one. The principles must be adhered to. Every kingdom, the kingdom of God is built on principles. I was sharing uh, by his grace, I was in Togo yesterday, went to visit my dad. And I was telling him and uh, his wife and some people, I said, look, life is guided by principles. I said, if any of you now wake up, because my son is in Accra, just wake up and just carry yourself. Come to Accra. You get to other other place, bro, to do, and call me. Hello? Amen. Uh, I've come. I'm in Accra. I said, where are you? Tell you okay, who, who invited you? I don't know. Bye-bye. I'm busy. You will stay, he will stay that he is tired and go back home. Why? My life is built on principle. Before you visit me, hello, my son, I want to come. Can I come? Okay. My father, come. My father, I'm not ready. I'm busy. Hmm. You go stay there tired. Yes, I'll, I'll tell them. Tell them. Hmm. Then my, his wife said, ah, can you live like that? And I say, ah, you don't understand. <laughs> you know, life must be built on principle. You don't just budge in on me. You call me. Can I come? No, don't come. Yes, come. He say, ah, can I tell someone not to come? I say, plenty of people. Ah, no, not today. You don't the last time. <laughs> no, don't come. I can be inside. You think I'm, I'm, I'm inside? I'm working. People cannot come. Bang, bang, bang. I hear them. I don't mind them. I can't see the window. Oh, it's you. I'm working. I'm busy. You cannot, you see, when people visit, you know what happens? They use their free time to come and squander your productive time. <laughs> you see, they, they use their free time to come and squander away your productive time. If you are foolish, you two, you wake up and carry your productive time and give them. They tell you are free, they are productive. But because they already visited you, you can't visit them again. So I told them, my life is built on. You just look at like, hey man, I've, I've come to buy some shirts. So say you want to pay. You will pay yourself. Oh, they will catch you. You will pay or they will catch you. You can't just buy, you know, make I want money. You want money and so on. No, 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 no. We say something that like, I can't live by plan. <laughs> it's life live by plan. <laughs> you don't try. If human being can be that principle, to that little extent. How much more God? Imagine your son woke up and say, okay, I daddy, I bought some phone, give me to go and pay. <laughs> I bought some phone, so give me to go and pay. If you need money from me next month, tell me last month. Okay, then I can begin to, okay, if I put 50 grand to this month, 50 grand to the next month, I can give it to you. You know, come and say, okay, there we are. Even if I have the whole money in the world, He's still guided by principle. That's why rich men, you look at you think they are wicked. They're not wicked. They live by principle. Principle. I have lived that principleless, useless life before. It didn't help me. It didn't help me at all. I carry my ATM. Eh? Full of money. Get my sister. Call it. Keep it. Anytime you need money, remember to join. Anytime you need money, call me and join. Before I lose it in one month, everything fiasco. I mean, that account became not red. Red is just blood. <laughs> That was my salary account. Before they pay, and I go and go to the bank and go and ask the account that there's no money in your account. Or that for somebody that didn't bother myself at all. I only open another account. <laughs> Shop the ATM. <laughs> Shop the ATM. I brought there's no money in this account. And I said, Did you work for me? Did you work for me? It's the ATM. Did that concern me? Did that concern me? So it doesn't, it doesn't, it didn't help me. I wasted money for another thing. So, my game, <laughs> every 
kingdom is built on principles. If you don't have principles guarding your life, principles make you a principal whereby you deal with principalities. You see? So you need to adhere to kingdom principles. There are certain things on which the kingdom of God is built. For instance, you want to prosper. It's a desire. Don't be desiring it. But uh, the slaughtered man desire it, but has nothing. Therefore, he shall beg in harvest. So you want to prosper the kingdom, okay? What is the principle for it? If you can get the principle and then give yourself to it practice, you will see that you begin to grow from one level of prosperity to the next level. You want to live in health and vitality without getting sick. What is the principle for it? It is God by principles. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. That's one of the principles. Your body is the temple of God. Anybody who defile it, he shall, he shall be defiled. So, don't eat, don't go and carry one drop of oil. Bad, 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 bad. Can you have it? You carry ice block. Huh? I, people eat ice block. People eat ice block. Ice block. Because they have faith. God help you. <laughs> you don't define it. If I drink very chill water now, you won't like me again. No, no, no. My body reacts terribly. First, I don't understand. Oh, can I chill water? Drink and my body will be reacting. I will be my own face will be. Ch- 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 That chill water be chilled <laughs> in my system, the reaction continues. Holy Spirit, what is happening to me? <laughs> what is happening? What's happening? <laughs> you see, observe your body. Ah, observe my body. And I realize that, oh, yo, chill water is not good for me. If I bath water now, you won't like it. That's another bath. I don't not today long as I don't know how to the water can be as cold as can be as cold cold as anything it can be 50, 50 negative 50 degrees Celsius I won't back hot water never because when I bath you won't like it as I'm scratching my body so oh boy I need my prayer for something else stop hot water bath principle Live your life on principle. Principle. The kingdom of God is guarded. He said he made his ways known unto Moses. Psalm 103 verse 7. And his act to Israel. So Moses emerged a lot because he knew the law. Principle. Now the principles you assess and give yourself to each practice gives you the confidence of the future. I am a giver. I am a tighter. So I have the confidence of prosperity. You shout amen. No. You cost me your heart to. It doesn't do nothing. Nobody can cause me to be poor. It's a lie. Nobody can. Go to anywhere. No, because I'm a principal. I'm a giver. My tie doesn't get missing in God's account. My givings are consistent. So God cannot say, okay, uh, because somebody can say, God says, curse you, so it, it's a lie. He will say, oh boy. Uh, it, uh, commitment to the practice of principles commit God to your life. It commit God to your life. Say, if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord your God and observe to do all, then I, God, not a third person, I, God, I, God, so when you commit yourself to the practice of the principles of the kingdom, I go. I will live to above all nations. It doesn't matter how many people are against you. It doesn't matter so. It doesn't matter how many people are against you. So, anytime you have any desire, the next thing to do, ask yourself, what principles of the kingdom cast it? That is how you live the kingdom life. For instance, 
Purity. What principle of the kingdom casts it? Evil communication destroys good manners. He that walketh with the wise shall be wise. A companion of fools shall be destroyed. So what do you do? Severe association from those people who want to pull you to hell. Oh, it's my. We are in the same old school as together. That I am not in any old school association. <laughs> I said, uh, my brother, you are too primitive. <laughs> I am not even of them. One time they call me, they say, yeah, yeah, Pastor, we want to put you on the platform so you can be preaching to us. I say, look, if I put, if you people put me there and few deep communications went go on there, I would move myself. So the man went and warned them. Amen is coming to the platform. <laughs> Beware not to misbehave. I went there, preach one, two, three. Then somebody, boom. That, that, I don't know that time how to block auto download videos. So everything was downloading into my, distilling into my phone. Yeah, I was just the one that just playing that. Ah! Evil. <laughs> Evil video <laughs> into my phone. Check the source that you're down. I called and I said, look. First, I remove myself and I call him. I said, ah. I'm out. That you corrupt my spirituality. Uh, I won't respect you and disrespect myself. I love you, but I can't be there again. Bye bye. You say, ah, you are not strong spiritually. Thank you, Mr. Strong. Thank you, Mr. Strong. It's a warfare. I see. I have. I have lived my life practicing a lot of evil in the world. I have experiences in the world. I have experiences. So when you are watching those things, you trigger old experiences. Your flesh begins to trigger. Hey, this thing, I know about it. Too. And so I don't want to fight those wars in myself. So please, don't bring fight to my, to my, to my gate. Don't bring fight to my gate. Hey, you see, yeah, Pastor, you are not strong. I accept. Psalm 16, verse 11. He said, that will show me the path of life in your presence. So there is the path of life. Principles of life. You just must find it. Look, 1152. He said, woe unto you Pharisees, for you have taken away the keys of the kingdom. The keys of knowledge. The keys of knowledge. Those keys are the ones that open the treasure house of the kingdom of God. Until you find it. Huh? You be struggling. Praise God. It is willful obedience to these principles that commit God to your life. That you can eat the good of the kingdom. Isaiah 1, 19 verse 20. Isaiah 1 verse 19 and 20. It says, if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse, you shall be devoured with the sword. So look for kingdom principles. I mean, they are all over the scriptures. They are littered everywhere. I want to excel academically. What is the principle of the kingdom? Look for it. Look for it. Daniel 1.8. Look for it. Look for it. I want to be anointed. What are the principles? Look for it. I want to understand scriptures. What are the principles? Look for it. Business breakthroughs. What are the principles? Look for it. Exploit. 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 Hmm. You know, in First Corinthians three, verse three, I was supposed to say, "For ye are yet carnal, whereas they are more." He said, "You walk as men. <laughs> you walk as men." You walk as men. In First Corinthians 3 verse 10, you are walking as men. It means you are walking according to the principles of men. When you ought to be walking according to the principles of God, the kingdom. Many of us are in the kingdom still walking by the principles of the world. If your wife is sought to slap her, that is the principle of the world. Say, women, if you don't beat them, their, their head doesn't get straight. 
is the prison of the world. Now, the man who is telling you that one, the wife has left him. Like, can't teach you says that it is the slave is not where I left him. Now he's single. <laughs> he wants you to join him in the divorce association. Principles of the world. That is the Bible said that blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Standeth not in the way of sinners. Seated not in the seat of the scornful. So when you are born again, you must stop walking in the counsel of the ungodly. You must stop standing in the way of sinners. You must stop sitting in the, way of, in the seat of the scornful. Simple mathematics. But people still in the kingdom are still living by the principles of the world. That is why when God encountered Moses, or Moses encountered God, in Exodus chapter 3, God told him, Moses, you are about to enter a new realm. Take off the shoes from your, meaning take away your walking principles, the principles you are walking all these years. 40 years with, I think that's more than 40 years, it's about 80 years now. 40 years in the palace of Pharaoh. And 40 years in the house of Jethro, he said, remove all those principles because you are about to enter a new world. Meanwhile, in the courts of Pharaoh, they wear shoes to enter the courts of Pharaoh. You must wear those your skin, you know, leather slippers before you can enter the court of the gods. But here is God saying, look, that one doesn't work with me. Remove those principles because I'm about to usher you into a new realm. So God began to teach Moses new things. New things. Moses could not lead Israel with the mentality of an Egyptian prince. So God had to take him to the heart of Jesus and then empty him of Egypt. It took 40 years for him to fill with, fill with Egypt. God must take 40 years to empty him of Egypt. Let me tell you something. If you waste your time stuffing yourself with the world, it will, God will require time to empty you of the world. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. You cannot fulfill destiny with the principles of the world. It's a lie. It's a lie. That is why when a person gets born again in Romans chapter 12, verse, verse 1 and 2, it says, Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by that is why you see the destiny standing. I tell this thing. It keeps you awake. You are transformed daily. You are transformed daily. You are transformed daily. You are transformed daily. Daily transformation by scriptures. By the renewing of your mind. Why? Your mind has been fed with all manner of chunks in the world. So, you need to do an unlearning process. You need to unlearn and relearn new things in the kingdom. But you cannot carry your old mentality in this kingdom. It cannot work. Because the world and the kingdom are never on the same way scale. Never. So say, renew your mind. Praise God. Exodus 3 verse 5. God told Moses, remove your slippers. Romans 12 verse 2. Renewal of the mind. For instance, the only way to maintain spiritual sanity in the kingdom is through a life of prayer. Ay, 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 ay. People don't like it. Prayer. You must maintain a consistent life of prayer. Consistent. Consistent life of prayer. It keeps your environment sanit- yourself sanit- environment sanitized. You wake up. Bebola baya. Radu shele kariata. Napo do be libara kazu ene boswalish. Ivovo, ivaka. What are you doing? What are you doing? You are keeping your, your spirit man awakened to spiritual things. You know, when you are praying in tongues, you know what that, Your spiritual antenna begins to go high. You can easily pick signal. But when you are prayerless, the antenna shut down. Then when God is speaking, you cannot hear nothing. So no, 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 you are saying, God told me, God, why, why, why did God talk to you every day? That's because I'm in the spirit. <laughs> every day God told me, every day God told me, God told me, only you God is speaking to you. That's because I'm in the spirit. Sometimes God is telling you, but because you're not in me, I pick it before he comes to you. <laughs> Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> if a day or two or three pass, I don't hear from God. Yeah! No, 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 no. It's not good. You are in danger. <laughs> three days, you hear anything from God is dangerous because if you don't hear from God, you don't know what Satan is doing. 
And Satan is busy 247, sir. 247. If you don't, if you don't hear from God, how can you progress it? How can you? How can you? Day day out. Day day out. Day day out. Day day out. A week or two doesn't pass without me hearing from God concerning ministry. Day day out. Day day out. You can buy a also practice that. Because it's in my heart every day to fulfill my destiny. It's in my heart every day. No, this is how can I get them to the, to the place? Can you show me some things to me? There are some things he taught me. I, the things I share with all humility is not where I am with God. No. No, no. The things I share is not where I am with God now. No, no, no. Where I am with God now, I may share in the next two, three, four years. Because I must keep a life of perpetual advance as a person. The things I shared now, the things he taught me some time ago. I mentioned this in that card. This thing I'm talking about. I just mentioned that card. I didn't know the details. That was when he taught me. I mean, he taught me some months before that time. If you don't hear from God, you cannot be progressive. And you cannot hear if you're not spiritual. You say, I was in the spirit on a lost day and I heard. Revelation 1 verse 10. I was in the spirit on a lost day. Then I heard. Then I heard. Then I heard. Praise God. That has to do with kingdom principles. The kingdom of God runs on principles. Number three. Kingdom possibility. Kingdom, we are we are exploring the articles of the kingdom that must find expression in the life of the believer. That is the definition of his manifestation. Kingdom possibility. We are not called to an empty life. The kingdom is full of possibility. There are things in the kingdom that we are called on to. We are not called to come and live a dry life. We are called to live a life that is full. He said, I have come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. A life to eat full. So there are certain possibilities in the kingdom that is meant for enjoyment. So he has called us on to glory and to virtue. Revelation 5 verse 10, verse 12. It says, say with a loud voice, worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive for us power, riches, wisdom, might, glory, honor, blessing. The seven four redemptive packages. So those are the possibilities accessible as a kingdom child. Healing and health and wholeness is a possibility in the kingdom. Praise God. Prosperity is a possibility in the kingdom. Mental alertness, excellence academically is a possibility in the kingdom. Business explosion is a possibility in the kingdom. Those are all among the many, many possibilities in the kingdom. And all those things must begin to find expression through us. Then you are living the kingdom life. Whilst it is not bad to be sick, it doesn't seem to be sick, but you know something, uh, you are not in the kingdom life. You are not. Because Jesus came here as the full expression of the Godhead. <laughs> Colossians 1, 19, 20. Colossians 1, 9, 1, 19, and then Colossians 2, 9, 10. He came as the full expression of God on the earth. Hebrews 1, verse 3. But you see, it was never sick once. So Jesus Christ came to show us how the kingdom looked like. So the kingdom life abhors sickness and diseases. The kingdom life abhors emptiness. It abhors struggling to no know, to know end. It abhors it. It abhors failure academically. Friends, it abhors it. One day I told one of those my I saw her some time ago. She looked at me and said, Hey, hey I said, Ah, I'm gonna see the name. <laughs> uh, what that what I what I was first in class, she was last. 
I mean, I scored about 95 or so. She scored zero. Who? And you know, we speak the same language. She goes to one of those churches that we speak the same language. You know, the faith language. It is where I can faith. Hiya! Hey, Walusa! When I pray, does she prays in tongues? So we are respond- We are greeted in tongues. And I hear the case when I score 90 something, it was zero. I was said she was last. And I call her and say, Look, you are disgracing me in this school. You are disgracing me in this school. You are you were a disgrace to me in this school. He said, What, what can I do now? Help me! <laughs> so you have to go to her to be teaching her every, you know, most of, most of the times, or she picked up. <laughs> You are disgracing me in this school. Why? I can't imagine being second in class. I was never second. Since I met Jesus. <laughs> since I met Jesus. I've never been second to anybody since I met Jesus. In class. I can't imagine the only wise God living in me and I can't be the only wise human being. I can't see why. I can't see why. I cannot see why. Praise God. Those are possibilities in the kingdom. So we are called to enjoy those possibilities. Ephesians 1, 15 to 19, he said, Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus, your salvation, he said, I cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. He said, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation, knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling. The hope of his calling. The hope of his calling. And what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saint. So you have a living hope in salvation. Colossians 27. Christ in you is the hope of glory. So we have been called to glory. To glory. To glory. We have been called to glory. All things that pertains to life and godliness, they are the things that God has ordained for us. You can't afford to be cringing on the underground and be struggling day in day out. No. If you struggle with poverty, you will beg. If you beg, you will start lying. You will start lying very soon. If you borrow too much, you will start lying. Because you are Credit us be chasing you. You borrow from Kwame, borrow from Ama, borrow from this one, and now all of you borrow from Temipo, and they all come into your house. You tell the children, tell them I'm not around. Tell them I'm not around. You are lying. You are lying. That is why God has made provision for us not to beg in the kingdom. Second hmm. Peter 1. To four, I said, according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertains unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him who has called us unto glory and to virtue. Praise God. The coming of Christ into your life is not in vain. No. There are possibilities attaining to it. Hmm. Because it gave God angry but it gets God angry when you and I are seeking those possibilities in the world. It gets God angry. God is not happy when the possibilities that he has prepared for us in the kingdom, we are seeking it in the world. He's not happy. He's not happy. But that's what we do. We come to the kingdom and we are still looking for the kingdom things. The worldly way. We still want to get what God has promised us. For instance, God has promised you something, and then you still leave for it. For instance, you come to a meeting, the pastor said, You are healed. Amen. You said amen. You go home, and then you start telling them, Please go and buy him some para. Uh, let me take it because uh, <laughs> the pastor said, I'm healed. <laughs> that pastor, he doesn't want to he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't do me in my body. You are trying to get kingdom possibility <laughs> in your own mind. Way <laughs> he's taking anything wrong? No, no, no. But it's not part of the kingdom of provision. Now, sir, 
Medicine is not part of the kingdom of provision. It's not. It's not. Hey. <laughs> is, it, is it not God who gave the wisdom to the doctors to the care of people? Yes. He gave them for the world. For <laughs> the world cannot assess what is in the kingdom. And for those who, who don't have the faith enough to get there, they're not to build your faith. Uh, that that a believer gets sick and then two, but doesn't mean that's the way of God. It doesn't. It doesn't mean so at all. It's only. It's only a, a, how they call it an allowance he gave them so that if your so that you will not die. If your faith is not up to you, you will not die. But that is not God's way. He says His word. It's in the Bible. <laughs> so I have never seen once. Let, let me say it from this place. <laughs> I have never seen Jesus Christ one tell someone because I prayed for he was to go to the doctor. If we call ourselves men of God and we are advertising doctors and hospitals, there is something wrong. The man we are partnering after never once, that never. And you know his ministry was full of healing the sick. He met sick people every day. He never once told one person. I pray for you, but go to Young Gomez or which one? Call him. Never once, never. Have you seen him before? Doctors were there, sir. Doctors were there in his days. Go and show yourself to the priest. I mean, why are you not to go go to the doctors were in his days? That tells us that what we carry called anointing is 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 anointing. We have to grow. Is it whatever your mind cannot grow above, God will not take you above it. I, I have been asking God, Lord, I don't want to pray for anybody be healed and tell him go and take him medicine before. I don't want to do that. Because I've never seen Jesus do it. I've never seen the disciples do it. Why are we doing it? Oh, you know, this doctor is here. This doctor is good. This doctor is good. This one is in my church. So go to him. He will help you out. Are they bad? No, I'm not against them. But my point is, as a man, do you know who a man of God is? We have told ourselves to men of doctors. A man of God is a carrier of the possibilities of God to his people. Let's grow in God. Let's grow in God. Let's grow in God. Let's stop. Oh, let's stop living in the periphery of life. God is too deep. He said, Oh, the depth, both of the riches and the wisdom of God. How unsearchable are his ways and his path. Past finding out. Romans 11 33. So let's go deep into God. Where we are is the reason we are giving excuse, we are giving. Go deeper. That somebody does it doesn't mean it is correct. Is the person wrong? I don't know. But what I know is not in the Bible. That a man of God tells a church member, go to that doctor. I've not seen it once, sir. Never once. Maybe I'm I'm not reading the Bible. Maybe I'm not. Eh? Maybe I don't. I don't know. Maybe some of these are in Greek. I have not seen it yet in the Jesus ministry. See, but I've gone through the New Testament. I know. I think I've tried. You know, the ministry of Jesus. Essentially, I, I, I have not seen it. I went looking for it. Where is it that Jesus tells somebody go to hospital? I've not seen one. I got angry, my spirit man. Don't tell anybody. I, it has, you see, the reason you not know, not because I don't want to tell people. I don't tell people if you cannot tell them. <laughs> You cannot heal them. They will die in your hand and God will chase you. That's why I'm, what, I'm, what am I doing? I am provoking you to go into God. Get into God. So that when you tell somebody, no, don't go to the You can heal the person. Because if you tell not to go and the person dies, they will harass you. <laughs> That's why some prayer camps were arrested some time ago because they will tell them, come, we'll heal you. Don't go to the hospital. People came and they stayed there and they died there. Hey. Family people will chase you. They will arrest you. I am provoking you into the depth of God. And he said, Take that 
those that believe, they shall lay hands on the sick. So as a believer, when somebody is sick around you, you, you are not a referral hospital. Or you are... You, you are, you are not you are not a signboard sign that is both hospitals it's a lay hands on them they shall be healed lay hands on them not tell them to get tennis medicine you are not a dispensary okay the last time i checked uh panadol was very powerful so we take panadol and then uh you take panadol didn't work go and take askini if it didn't work then go and take queen it didn't work then take para queen all manner of things all manner of all manner of all manner of things it's a lie it's not in god <laughs> not in God. It is, it is, it is, it is a lack of capacity. That is what makes us to live like mere men. Those are the speakings of mere men. Go to hospital, mere men. They are the sayings of men. Gods don't talk like that. Gods don't talk like that. But then, if you don't grow into the realm of a god, you will talk like a man. So to God. Dig out possibility to God. Someone who comes to you, sign in school fees, you tell them, oh, go to NDK, branch and go and take a loan. Madness, madness, madness. <laughs> eh? You are told a, 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 a financial service provider. Dive into God. To the point you can say, bring your hand. Receive your miracle. Person goes, somebody call him. Uh, I want to give you some money. That is, that is the realm of God. When they say, I say you are God, it's not an accolade. <laughs> it's manifestations of the sons of God carrying kingdom possibilities to humanity. Yay! Hey, that is what we're talking about. When you give any human answer to people, you're not a God. You're not a God. Somebody come with human problems. Give him a God solution. God solution. God solution. Somebody say, my mind is failing. Uh, uh, and then you say, oh, uh, oh have you tried? Have you tried cooking for your husband and see? <laughs> that is a devil. Try to tell him about that part. First, that is, first is the devil. Before counseling follows. First is the devil. Because the devil doesn't want him to. He doesn't want agreement between Christians. So the first thing, you, know, you don't just... And then you don't give any human reason. <laughs> the, 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 also for the human reason. And Satan says, yes, 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 yes. Begin to walk things in the background. You first take charge spiritually. That is why Christian counselors are the, are the best. Eh? All these what people they call counselors, they are, they are not, they are counselors. They counsel you. They don't. They cancel you. <laughs> and they, they cancel you. They don't cancel you. Eh? If you go to a worldly man for cancel, you are you are you are backslided. God doesn't want us. I will close here. I have a strategy, but I will close here. God. God is not happy when we go about looking for kingdom possibilities the world way. Let me show the scripture. Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 19. Take note of that, 222. Very powerful scripture. That's the scripture that, uh, that uh, God this man, a wife. <laughs> uh, the wife can say, I don't know what I don't know what I did. The man, the man went to lick his net. The man said, I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. One day I meditate and walk. Do anything because he has, you know, he knows that I could, I could talk to him. But my, I see, I was, I began to talk like a human being. <laughs> I was advising her, you know, you know, this will, will do, this will do. She was saying, no, I don't do, I don't do, I don't do, I don't do. That those days, uh, that woman girl, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want it, I don't want it. One day I called, one day I was meditating deep. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Lord, what's the answer to this thing? Na na mana kusaka di ani taya. This is what came to me. And I called her. <laughs> what are you advertising? She said, she's just passing in front of my house. I said, oh no, don't pass. Come inside. And I met her. Is there no bomb in Gilead? Is there no bomb in Gilead? She was confused. <laughs> she was confused. Because there was one 
for a one-shot like that, you know, you are trying to go and tap with. It's terrible! I, I was shouting that word until she understood what I was trying to say. <laughs> I said, I said, Bam in Gilead. You don't need to leave Gilead to go and get a bam anywhere else. Just a bam in Gilead. You know, we just get to preach only healing. But he gave him a, husband, a wife. God has a bam in Gilead. You don't leave Gilead to Nazareth. <laughs> you don't leave Gilead to Jericho. There's a bomb in Gilead. I think you for six years now. Yes, yes, enjoy the service. From Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 21. <laughs> now, let me show you what is there. <laughs> Jeremiah 8, Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 19. He said, Behold, the voice of the cry of the daughter of my people because of them that dwell in far country is not the Lord in Zion, is not her king in her. Why have they provoked me to anger with their grieving images and with their strange vanities? Now, look at that verse very well. Behold, the cry of my people by reason of them that dwell in far country. Oh, if I do in America, eh, my life will be different. Ghana. <laughs> If it were to be that man who gave it to me, I would have been very dedicated. But this is my father. <laughs> that man said he bought up all his children. But look at this, my father. <laughs> if I were to be in India, this sickness would have gone quickly because they have good medical, medical apparatus there. Behold the cry of my people by reason of them that go in a far country. America, if you can work it, I pay you. If I was in America, but now at least every month I'll get something. <laughs> you know, I get something, you know. Normally I should get something every month. I'll just go and sign for it and get it. You see, but Africa is very bad. <laughs> Behold the cry of the daughters of my people because of them that dwell in a far country. You are looking far where you are to be looking into God. Prosperity is not a native of any country. There are people in America, I am richer than them, sir. I am richer than them. <laughs> people in America, you are richer than them because if if you don't have any money in your hand eh, and you are owing one thousand dollars, what does it mean? <laughs> it mean it mean it mean even David is richer than you richer than you <laughs> because you don't have anything and you are really negative. Behold the cry of the daughter of my people because of the people in the far country. You are in the kingdom and still looking outside the fence to see what, I, what I'm looking for I can get in the world. You want to use worldly patterns to get kingdom provisions. God said, I am angry. Is there no bomb in Gilead? Is there... This thing you are looking for in the world doesn't exist in the kingdom. To marry a non-believer is a cause. Your people are doing you. Yes, they are doing you. <laughs> to marry a non-believer, your village witches are doing you. Be free. Jesus mighty name. <laughs> is there everything you admire in the world, they are in the kingdom. They are here. They are here. Oh man, see Shatawali's car. Oh boy. <laughs> Listen, it's in the kingdom. It's in the kingdom. Let's put there something. The kingdom, we don't store wealth in assets. We store wealth in the kingdom, in kingdom business. If a man like Mr. Wadeko eh, should be, let's say, just in the world, with this, you know, with what he has, everything will be attached to his name. The universities will be attached to his name. The proceeds from everything, everything is for him. So that becomes his wealth. I get it. But because in the king in, in the kingdom we don't attach 
the things of God to us. So, he has relinquished ownership to God. So, they can't count it for him. If they counted all those things in his name, even Bill Gates, you know the Jewish You know the university? Maybe you don't know what it means. Maybe you don't know what it means. The projects going on. All those things would have been attached to his name. But because in the kingdom, we don't own things to us. But it seems as if the kingdom have people in this kingdom have money more than the world people. Far. The world, they own everything for themselves. The company is for me. This house is for me. The company car is for me. So everything is part of their wealth. In the kingdom, it's different. Stop admiring the world. Anything you want in this world, in this earth, the examples of the kingdom. Behold the cry of my people because of them that do the far country. They are looking far when what they are looking for is in God. Whatever you want is in God. Whatever you want is in God. You have just not found it yet. Proverbs 24, 14. It says, When thou hast found it, there shall be a reward. And thy expectation shall not be cautious. You are, it's not because it's not in there. Everything you want in this faith is in the kingdom. Faith is in the kingdom. He said, I will give them fame and praise in every country. In every place I put the same. Whereas thou hast been forsaken, that no man went through the I'll make thee an eternal excellency, the joy of many generations. Isaiah 16, verse 15. It's in God. So God gives fame. God gives money. God gives power. God gives it. God gives breakthroughs. God gives expansion. You don't need to look at it from anybody. God. Hey, look at that man. No? If you see my brother, but now he has let me finish. Go and see his brother. Go and ask his brother. You see that he doesn't have anybody. 